Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronald. I am based here in Singapore. I make travel guide, travel tips, going here to Philippines, and of course in Singapore. There are a lot of free places to visit here. So, let's start. Jewel Changi Airport is the first place that you will see. So, pagdating nyo ng Singapore, after nyo ng immigration or after ng arrival, ito yung pinakamagandang mall na pwede nyo makita. It is connected via SkyTrain Terminals 1 and 3. If darating naman kayo from Terminal 4, you need to take a bus. So, maganda yung mall. Uh, medyo maliit lang siya, pero there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, there's a Pokemon Center, a Starbucks. But inside, if you go further, sa gitna, makikita nyo yung Rain Vortex. It's the centerpiece of Jewel. It's a stunning indoor waterfall. It's 40 meters high, making it the world's tallest indoor waterfall. Madaming greens, madaming plants na nakapaligid sa waterfall. So it's like a combination of garden and uh, city. Okay mag-selfie or mag-take photo. Tapos yung backdrop nyo is yung rain vortex. There is a 5 minutes lights and sound show. Monday to Thursday, it's 8 p.m and then 9 p.m. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and public holiday. It's 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and 10 p.m. If you visit there after 10 p.m., baka mamiss niyo yung show. So take note of the timings. If you notice the train passing by behind Rain Vortex, it's actually from Terminal 2. If you just want to get this, this shot, or if you want to see from the train, mag, you can take Terminal 2. Yung Shiseido Forest Valley. Shiseido Forest Valley. Ito yung garden na nakapalibot nga sa rain vortex. So it's a four level garden. You can sit anywhere or you can park your trolley or luggage. Every time there is a team design in Forest Valley. So as of now, from May to August 2023, there is an Avengers, Marvel Avengers team. So if you like Iron Man, Thor, uh, it's it's the best time to visit and of course it's free. If you're done exploring the area, you can go to level 5 and check out the rest of the attraction. Um, Bouncing Net, Canopy Park, Merending Maze, and so on. Shops at Marina Bay Sands, the nearest MRT station is Bayfront. Pagpasok nyo palang dito sa shops at Marina Bay Sands, mararamdaman nyo na, na napaka social ng lugar. Malinis, maganda yung interior ng building, and also yung architecture niya. Structure kung paano siya ginawa. So, meron ding boat ride yung nasa gitna. It's not free, it's around $13. Ang tawag pala dun is sampan ride. Sampan means wooden boat. It is operated by a boatman who navigate through the waterways. The passenger can admire the stunning architecture of Marina Bay Sands, including the iconic elevated water bowl known as Rain Oculus. So yung Rain Oculus, ito yung malaking inverted na bowl or something na may nalaglag na water sa baba. So when you go upstairs, andun yung skyline or yung city view ng Singapore from Marina Bay Sands. I recommend going here ng daylight around 5.30 to 6pm which uh, hindi na masyado mainit or the sun is not that hot. You can walk around, enjoy the outdoor experience and minsan mahangin, medyo breezy um, there are palm trees merong mga cafe den or bars outside and you can also see Louis Vuitton store and kung meron kayong makitang bench you can stay there and relax pero nung pumunta kasi ako gabi na yung arts and science museum it's not free also, pero it's an iconic area. You can take photos sa ilalim nun, or, be, or sa behind it, you can use it as your background. And um, Apple Store, yung bagong dome-shaped Apple Store that is floating in water. If you wanna go inside, you can go from basement 2, or use the bridge connecting to the Apple Store. Actually, inside is also another experience. It has a 360 degrees view of the city. And you can also take an iconic Instagram photo behind the wall with an Apple logo or, or Apple, yung wall na merong Apple logo. 
So at night, there is also a lights, sound, and water show here in this area. Spectra Skyline Light Show. It is a 15 minutes lights and water show. It's free and it runs Sunday to Thursday, 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, it's 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and 10 p.m. I recommend finding a spot as early as you can because it's gonna be crowded. If you go to Rasapura Food Court, makikita nyo rin yung isang waterfall design, but it's actually a light. You can go upstairs and take a photo with it as your background then. Pero kailangan walang tao. So just behind Marina Bay Sands Hotel, after a 10 minutes walk, you can reach Gardens by the Bay. Spanning 101 hectares, it is a stunning showcase of nature, art, and sustainable gardening practice. Yung pinaka-iconic doon is yung Super Tree Grove. Ito yung parang structure na nakabukas na ganun na puno. It's very visible from, from afar, makikita nyo na siya. I recommend going here by daylight to take photos and selfies. And at night, there is the lights and sound show is 7.45 p.m. and 8.45 p.m. It's called the Garden Rhapsody Lights and Sound Show. You can walk along OCBC Skyway. It's a suspended walkway between Super Tree Grove, offering a panoramic view of gardens and the city skyline. You can try it, go up and take some photos and enjoy the view. It's not free, but it's worth it. Next naman is yung Helix Bridge. It is a distinctive landmark that connects Marina Center with Marina Bay Sands. Maganda yung structure niya, parang I'll be explain. Basta yung mga pagkakagawa sa kanya. If you are walking here in Helix Bridge, you can also enjoy the view ng Arts and Science Museum and yung Marina Bay Sands itself. Just take note, itong bridge na to is pedestrian bridge, so maraming dumadaan. Minsan may mga nagbabike or may mga nagjogging. And of course, hindi natin makakalimutan yung Merlion Park or yung Merlion Statue. The name Merlion is a combination of Mer, meaning sea, and lion, the word lion. Representing Singapore's origin as a fishing village and its transformation into a mighty lion city. Ooh, di ko alam yun. Ito yung pinaka-iconic na statue sa Singapore. Most people visit here. I just recommend going there by daylight. Yeah, so these are all the free iconic places that you should visit. This is the part one of my video. If you haven't been here, I recommend going here because most of it are free access. If you like this kind of video, please let me know. And I have a long list of free places to visit. So that's it for now. Um, sana nakatuloy yung video. And I will see you again on my next upload.